Um, so what's all good about living in Georgia County? Um, some of you know that we had the Moody's rating of a MIG-1 rating for the safety center, which is the highest rating Moody's gives. We had the uh, A-1 uh, rating for the general obligation. And what, what does that mean? Back in 2009, uh, we went out to bid for our safety center uh, for our $3 million note. We received one bid. Uh, that cost the, the county about $44,000 in interest for one year on the borrowing that $3 million. The next year in 2010, uh, we had eight bids, which was, uh, was very nice, but we received an interest rate of 0.739, which was very attractive, and we only had to pay back $18,000. Last year when we went out, we received seven bids for the safety center. We were trying to pay back $2 million. Uh, we received a bid of uh, 0.644, and we paid back $12,800 in that, in that loan. Significantly drop in what we're borrowing and how we're handling our finances. Uh, number two is um, uh, we're holding strong on our health care costs thanks to the commissioners and their negotiation skills. Uh, we're working not to reduce our workforce in Geauga County. Uh, we want to keep the good people that we have as much as possible. We're the second healthiest county in Ohio for the second year in a row. And our sales tax, uh, 18 out of 22 months collections have been up or solid, which is very good for, for our county when you compare us to others. The general fund versus all funds, we're at 90, almost $96 uh, million dollars in the total budget. The general fund has about 25, $25.5 million in it, uh, which is a 0.51% increase from last year. When you look at the general fund carryover from last year, we're up 11.95%, uh, which means that everybody in this, every elected official in the room uh, helped us have, have additional money. Didn't spend everything we gave you, which is always a plus when we're not spending our money. So that's up 11.9% from last year. Uh, very significant help this year. In the general fund analysis, um, month after month from last year, we're Year-end revenue over expenses was up, uh, we were at 1.59% differential. Uh, our two big months in March and August, that's when we get the real estate collections to come in that time. Here's another look at the expenditures and revenues year after year since 2005. Uh, as you can see, the blue on top is the revenues outweighing the expenses. We had uh, two occasions uh, back in 2006 and 2009 where our expenses exceeded our revenues um, and obviously in 2009 that was the big downturn when we got hit by everything so um, we've corrected that problem in the general fund revenue analysis as you can see the red line indicates the average of 26.5 million we're at 26.1 which is an increase of about seven hundred ninety eight thousand dollars from last year which is which is always nice to see Here's the February revenue comparisons. What we do is we take a snapshot every February of what our revenue looks like, and we're comparing it to 2008 because that was our one of our good years. And you look at that and you say the percent of decrease for 2008 compared to this year was like 20% difference. We were down. Percent increase for 2009 is a 2.8%, and we're up from last year about 3%, 3.4%. Uh, significant. Um, compared with it. We're never going to get caught up to the 20% ahead, but it might happen eventually. The general fund expenditures um, were up, were slightly higher, about $68,000 compared to last year. Hopefully we won't spend that, but our, uh, that's what we're projecting. Okay, here's the February expense, uh, expense comparison, which is the codicil to the revenue. Um, percent difference from 2008 was 31%. Percent different decrease in 2009 at 29%, and we're down from last year 10%. Created this chart a couple years ago called the new normal, and we, what we said is the economy, the way it sits in Jog County today, I'm predicting it's going to last another four years, just like it is. We're going to see some ups and downs, but it's not going to get any better for a, a while. And we're saying that as long as our Revenues out exceed our, our expenses, we should be all right. In this particular indication, we're at 1.59% differential between expenses and revenue. Um, 
2009, again, was a bad year for us. Sales tax revenue, we're up uh, $628,000 compared to uh, last year. The average, we're above the average, the average is about 10.9, we're at 11, 11 million dollars. We always like to see the sales tax come up. Those are people buying at those stores. March sales tax comparison uh, from 2008, uh, um, we're at 0.91% for 2008-2009, was a 7% differential increase, and last year we're at 8.8 compared to uh, 2012 compared to last year in March time frame. Investment revenues uh, are down. Nobody's paying any money for us to keep our money in any bank. Very small. Um, I, wish we, I wish we could say we're making more money on our money, but it's not. Our local government fund. Um, those of us who work in the government know that the state has taking a good chunk of our local government fund. Um, we think that it's going to balance out somewhere around seven, $741,000 for this year. What it will be next year is a guess, because I don't have those numbers yet, but we're predicting somewhere around six eighty dollars or $680,000 before it will level off. I haven't heard that it's completely disappeared yet. I think the, the, the governor is going to make some adjustment to that. But it's uh, key to note that there was a significant amount of money we were getting back in 2007. You can see $1.2 million. We were going to get, you know, almost half that. Inmate housing. I'm happy to say I had breakfast with the sheriff last week or this week, and um, we're already up 109% um, over 2011 in inmate housing. I'm sure that's going to continue to grow for 2012, um, but we're already up 109%, uh, which is significant when you look at what we, where we were at in 2010. It just signifies that the sheriff is really going to start utilizing that, that um, safety center again because we're able, he's able to convince people that's a good place to house prisoners. This is an unemployment comparison to Geauga and Ohio. Uh, for the year, in December, we ended at 5.9% unemployment. The average of the whole year was like 6.5%. Uh, but we're well below the state and well below the, uh, uh, the national rating. We're doing better than our surrounding counties. That's what this chart is supposed to show. Uh, even though we think it's bad, we're, if you're living in a different county, it's going to be even worse. Uh, property transfers are up 9.12% from last year, um, which is significant for us because we, we need to have more people are buying things and transferring their their rights. Uh, when you look at new construction values uh, for 2007, 8, 9, and 10, in 2010 we had the Judson project happen out in Bainbridge and that added about $63 million, but if it wasn't there, it would have been somewhere around $38 million. So when you compare the 38 to 44 this year, we're, we're actually starting to creep back up. So it's just a good thing. New homes built in Jog County. Uh, 2010, we had 73. The average among since 1995 has been 386 new homes. We're at uh, 135. We're coming back. It's almost almost double what we had last year, so that's good. But compared to other counties, Cuyahoga County had 11,000. We have 463. Okay, local government money. Um, will, the, will, the, will some state funding continue? Again, we think it's going to happen. We really don't know. We think it's going to be somewhere around 600, 650,000. Uh, we don't know the percentage. And the state tax will no longer be collected as a 1 1 2013. So that's the death tax. It's going away. So all the townships that receive that large S on occasion aren't going to get it anymore. So well, they're going to have to really try to balance their, their monies. So Final analysis is the county is still strong. Uh, our budgets are basically the same as last year, slightly higher. Uh, again, the county officials need to continue to be conservative and watch their spending so we can have a better uh, carryover. The treasurer stated the county collections are still very strong. We're collecting in the high 90 percentiles. Um, every time I go out, and I know the commissioners do the same thing, ask how local business is, how we're doing. 
Uh, they, the answer is they appear to be better than last year. So that's a good thing for us. Uh, our hoot, new uh, housing development is still occurring in Judd County and is on the rise, as you can saw from the draft. So we're good. those are the things we track on a regular basis, see how we're doing in the county, and that appears to be working very well. We're going to be in this thing for the same process we're in today. We're going to be there for the next four years, I'm predicting. But remember, don't complain about the dark tunnel. Remember, it's a shortcut uh, through the mountain. And that's what we're in right now. We're in that mountain, and we're going to be there for the next four years. And whether we like it or not, unless something magic happens, our dollars and the way we're managing our money just needs to continue on down that same path, which means everybody's got to watch their money.